So if you are in this market right now and you're looking to buy a home for the very first time, this is my recommendation to you. Make sure you're buying for long-term purposes. When I say long-term, I mean long-term. Meaning don't just think about today. Think about the future to come. If you're buying this home today, you gotta ask yourself, how long am I gonna be here? How much is this home gonna be worth? Is this gonna be my forever home? These are some of the questions you need to ask yourself and I'm gonna get into detail why these questions are gonna be very important to you when it comes to deciding on whether or not you should be buying a home or whether or not you should be buying that particular home. Yeah, that home over there. Before I start this video, I do wanna say that this is not for a savvy investor or a savvy buyer. This is mainly for first time home buyers. But if you wanna stick around to the end, you might learn a thing or two because maybe it's been a while since you bought your first home. So stick it to the end. So of course, everything I say in this video is just strictly my opinion. And I might be missing a lot of other great points. So the first thing you need to ask yourself when it comes to picking and choosing a home is, do you care about the school? Is that going to be a big factor for you? And yes, everybody wants a good school district, but maybe you don't even have kids. So maybe for the first couple of years, this is just your first home and you don't necessarily need the incentives of a good school district. Because when you're looking at homes in a really good school district, the prices are normally gonna reflect that. And if that's you, maybe you could settle for a home that's not really in the desirable school district. So that way you can save costs on the home. And then maybe after a few years when you've grown your family and outgrown that home, you could sell it and upgrade to a more desirable school district. And since we're talking about school district, that's gonna lead me into my next tip which is, does the area matter in the future? Maybe today, the home you're buying is a newer development. How is it gonna look like in five years? How is it gonna look like in 10 years? This is a very important question. And I see this get thrown around like it's not really important, but it is very important when it comes to real estate because you see real estate, it's all about location, location, location. I always like to say, if the home is broken, you can fix it. But if your neighborhood is broken, there's no fixing that. So before choosing a particular home, make sure you do some due diligence on the area to see how developed it is and what is the up and coming plans from the city regarding that property. Let me share an example. Since I'm in Sacramento, I'm going to use an area called Oak Park. Because you see, in Oak Park, if you're entering into that area, it may seem a little rough. But... If you go a little bit deeper into Oak Park to where it's getting closer to the Broadway area, these homes are actually worth closer to $500,000 because it's right next to Midtown. And so Midtown had made its way closer to that area to where now it's getting gentrified. Hopefully that's a word. So now gentrification is taking over the Oak Park and some of those homes right now, if you were to invest it in that, earlier on in the years, right now you would have reaped the benefits of it being now a desirable area because the King Stadium is downtown. So next time when you're choosing a home, make sure you do some due diligence on that area and see what's up and coming. Another good question you should be asking yourself before picking and choosing a property is, how much is that home gonna be worth in a couple of years? Have you driven around a certain particular area and notice that sometimes you come across a home that is super nice but the homes right next to it aren't so nice this could be a problem for that particular home that is super nice because now the rest of the homes around it is bringing down the value of that particular property just because it's nice doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be worth more and doesn't matter how much work you put into it might not increase the value of that property because the surrounding homes just look normal. When a appraiser comes in to appraise a property, they particularly look at comparisons around the areas, normally under a mile's radius of that subject property. And if the comparable homes around the area don't really match it, it's gonna get devalued. So for example, maybe that subject property was built in 2000 
but the surrounding homes were built in the 50s. That is 50 years of a big change. And this is something that a appraiser is going to take into account. So if you're buying a particular property within an area, and you notice that that is the only nice looking home or newer modern home in the area, you might want to reconsider moving forward with that particular property just for long term purposes. Another thing you should also be asking yourself is what are your goals for that particular home? Are you looking to rent it out? Are you looking to flip it down the road and upgrade to a bigger home? Let's say your goal for this home that you're buying right now is so that you could rent it out and start building your investment portfolio maybe five years down the road. Is it going to be a desirable area to where you're going to be able to make good cash flow money on it? And are people going to want to live in that area? Is there a school behind your backyard? Is there a church right next to you? Is it next to like an industrial building? These are important factors to consider when picking and choosing a property because if your goal is to rent it down the road, how are your future tenants going to feel about the area? One thing you also want to consider is, are you done growing your family? Is this property going to be future-proofing your livelihood? Maybe the property you're buying right now, you only have two kids. So a three-bedroom, two-bath house is perfect for your needs. But if you're planning on growing your family to maybe having a few more kids, and if you don't plan on buying another home because you're planning on making this your forever home then it probably makes more sense for you to buy a home according to your future plans such as maybe a four bedroom might be better or maybe even a five bedroom is more preferred because you're future proofing yourself so you're buying it now where the market is lower and then reaping the benefits until that future child comes and now your home is ready to receive that addition for the vast majority of first time home buyers out there, these are some questions you do want to consider asking yourself because what I came to realize is that when you're buying a home for the very first time, you're very excited and you should be, but don't lose sight of your goals of the future. I feel that if you have prepared yourself mentally and emotionally on this process of buying your first home, it's going to be easy going and you're not gonna have any remorse when you finally receive keys to your new home. And if you guys wanna watch more videos like this, I have way more in my archives up here. You can click on any one of them. While you're at it, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel to be part of the Chi Chi fans here. And I think I'm done talking, so peace.